This is my Pink Tulips Magnolia Dr. Bag. And this bag is made out of real leather. Absolutely stunning bag. The material on the bag is a tapestry material. So it's upholstery fabric. So it's very thick and durable. Definitely a very eye-catching bag. It has a variety of words on there. Obviously the first word that you see is silky, which actually definitely reminds me of what the leather is. The leather is very plush, very luxurious. It's the durable type of leather, but it also is the pliable type. So that's definitely a wonderful feature of this bag. The bottom has these really nice gold tone hardware feet. And I don't put my bags on the floor. However, it is very nice to have feet on your bag because I just think it makes the bag look more finished. It does make it look a lot nicer. So this is the bag. And the, the straps are very nice. They're kind of a padded strap. This is the lock, and to me it definitely does remind me of a flower. All of the pink tulip bags do have a floral type name, so this is the magnolia. And then you just kind of slip this here, and that's how you open it up. It opens really wide, and I probably surprised you with what I have in my bag. I do have two children. I have a four and a half year old and I have a 13 month old. So what I do, instead of using a traditional diaper bag, which I, some people like diaper bags and for me personally, I like to use a designer bag and just kind of turn it into a diaper bag. And really the only thing you need to do is just put diapers in it. <laughs> you don't really need to change it in any other way. Just put in whatever you normally put in your diaper bag and just you can put in a few pouches, zippered pouches, and, and kind of differentiate your mommy type stuff, um, whether it's a compact or lipstick, makeup, your wallet. And then the rest of it, you can put whatever you put in for your children. Now, I do not put b dirty diapers in here, and I don't put any kind of liquids or bottles. In my car, I usually have a cooler, like a little uh, travel cooler or something that I can put a bottle in. Uh, water bottles um, or snacks or whatever. The only kind of snacks I would put in here is something that's sealed, like a, a factory sealed bag of maybe cheese crackers or something, um, something that's not messy and um, not going to open on its own. So something that's dry and not going to accidentally spill or get messes anywhere. So I take really good care of my bags. I do store them in a cloth type dust bag when I'm not using them. I do switch them out every two or three weeks. And I, I must admit, I do have several bags. I, some, some women like shoes, I love bags. So this is definitely a beautiful, beautiful bag. And we cloth diapers, so I have two cloth diapers in here. These are the Bum Genius one size, so this will fit baby all the way up to 35 pounds. So this is what I fit in there, two of those. I generally do not put two in there right now just because since my baby is 13 months, we're not going through the, the 10 diapers a day. We're going through maybe about six to eight diapers a day. And generally we're not out long enough to need two extra diapers. However, usually I just take one diaper in here and usually have two or three extra in the car because I'm never really that far away from my car that I can't just go to the car and get another one if I need to. But I wanted to put two in here just to let you know that you can put two cloth diapers in here. So it does fit quite a bit. I was also able to fit a board book for my four and a half year old and also for my 13 month old. And just because toddlers and uh, my, my four year old, she is getting to the age where she needs to be entertained all the time. So I have a, a wooden peacock type stringing toy and I have her little beads and her little peacock here. So she can she can string that and it's not gonna have too much cleanup or mess. I also have a cloth bib 
we don't normally use bibs, but since our baby is teething and drooling a lot more, we have this little bib that, that he can wear that kind of absorbs any kind of drool if he, if, if he is drooling. For bibs, we usually use a silicone molded bib that has kind of like a, a little area where it catches all the food. So we, we really don't use cloth bibs, but that's, that's good for that. We have here, I have a little leather pouch that I can keep my compact and any kind of little mommy stuff. A little chewy toy that also is my bracelet. It's kind of a special bracelet for that. I have two baby onesies. Have another onesie in here too. And my four-year-old is potty trained, but we do have potty pants in here just because you always want to <laughs> you always want to be prepared. I do have my wipes case in here, and I also have some little little links for baby to play with. I was able to fit a fair amount in here. I have not yet put my wallet in here um, just because I have that out, but I can put my wallet and my cell phone in here with no problems. These little slip pockets here, I, I'm not really able to put much in there. I did put a few little sanitizing wipe individual packets there. But this is the bag. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. I think it's very stylish. I'm able to fit a lot of items in here. And I think that whether you're a mommy who wants to have a bag that's du dual purpose for, for going somewhere, you know, for your own items and also for baby, I think this is perfect. But also for someone who doesn't have any children that just wants a fancy bag. So anybody could, could use this bag that, that likes a high-end looking bag well-made, well-designed, beautiful, beautiful bag. It's not too big, but it's just perfect. I do like large bags, so this, this does, this does um, have the large enough size for me, just for my, my taste of bags and also for what I need to carry in there. But yet it's not going to be so oversized that it's going to be too heavy or, or um, get in the way of anything. I love this bag. I do think it's very stylish, well-made. I recommend it. Check out Pink Tulips, and I will be doing a review of this on my blog. Thank you very much for watching.